All right, so we're going to start off our discussion of poker mathematics with probability and odds. Because if you don't know what probability and odds are, then you're going to struggle with everything else. So probability, in its most simplest term, we can state it as being the likelihood that something will occur. And when we talk about probability, it's used in many areas of study. And this can include mathematics, of course sciences of course we think of the hard sciences and the soft sciences business specific areas of business such as finance and of course in our case gambling now in these disciplines probability is called or we look at probability as the number of times something will happen out of the total number of chances that it may happen so for example if we look at it we can say that there's a 33.3% chance of it raining today or so forth. And it's most commonly referred to as either a fraction, such as what we see right here, one third, or a percentage, which we see here as 33.3%, which these two are exactly the same. Now, getting back to me talking about the chance of rain. So if we say that there is a 60% chance of rain, from a probability perspective, what we're saying is that out of 100, meaning 100%, there's 60 out of 100, meaning that's the probability that's going to rain, which we can see here in our fraction, or we can reduce it to 6 tenths, or we can reduce it even further to 3 fifths, or we can simply just say 60% chance of rain. So that's probability, and the reason that we want to talk about that, because, well, it's important when it comes to poker and specifically poker mathematics and the probability of something occurring. So let's take a look at a simple probability. Let's take a look at the probability of us being dealt pocket aces. So we can determine what this is with just some basic mathematics. So we all know that if we open up a deck of cards, there's going to be four aces in that deck, right? one for each suit. So ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, ace of hearts, and ace of spades. And we know that deck has a total of 52 cards. So the probability of being dealt one ace is four and 52. So if we think about it, right, there's 52 cards in that deck. We shuffle up the deck and we have out of those 52 cards, four of those are an ace. So the chance of being dealt an ace with that first card is four in 52. Then once we're dealt that ace, there's no longer four aces left in the deck, right? So if we're dealt one of these aces, and let's just say, for example, let me get my little pen tool out. Let's say that we're dealt the ace of clubs. So that's no longer in the deck. Now there are three left. So there are three aces left in the deck. And of course, because we've taken one card out, there's only 51 cards remaining as well. So therefore, the odds of our second card also being an ace is now 3 in 51. Now, what we can do is we can combine these two together, and that's going to give us a probability of being dealt pocket aces. So what we do is we simply do this simple mathematics right here that we see. 4 divided by 52 times 3 divided by 51. And the probability of being dealt specifically pocket aces is 0.452%. And this holds true for any specific pocket pair. So if I said, what's the probability of being dealt pocket kings? Or what's the probability of being dealt pocket deuces? Well, it's the same probability of being dealt pocket aces. So that's a simple example of probability and as you can imagine the probability of being dealt specifically pocket aces is very 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 small all right so now let's talk about something called odds so odds are simply another way of expressing probability and in the gambling world people love to express probability in odds so for example You'll see something such as 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 or 4 to 1. That's an on. Specifically, it's a ratio. So when you see this, you're seeing a ratio, which is stated this 2 colon 1 is stated 2 to 1. And in poker, 
odds play two major roles. And the first one is being our odds or probability of making a specific hand, such as flopping a set or better, which we already talked about as being 7.5 to 1, or being dealt pocket aces as being less than 1% of the time. So that's the first role. So we can look at basic poker mathematics and we can devise a cheat sheet and that's going to tell us the probability of us making a flush or making a straight on the flop or being dealt a specific hand on the flop or and so forth. So that's the first thing. And what we're going to do is, is we're actually in terms of determining the probability of something occurring post flop. We're going to look at something later in the section called the rule of two and four. And when it comes to post flop play, this is going to allow us to determine the probability of us making a specific hand if we have a draw. And we look at this as a very simple way of determining our probability or odds, which also equates into our equity in the hand. And we'll take a look at that later in this section. Now, the second role that it plays, and this is very important, is it plays a role in determining our pot odds. And I'm not gonna talk about that any further because we're gonna talk about pot odds in the next video. But just understand when we're talking about probability, we typically look at it from an odds perspective in gambling, but we can also look at it from a percentage perspective, and that's what I recommend. And it plays two roles, the odds or probabilities of making a specific hand and determining our pot odds. So that's going to conclude our introductory lecture on probability and odds. In the next video, we're going to take a look at pot odds. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.